Hi guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a graphic organizer to keep track of your breaking apart of multiplication problems. This is called the box strategy. Uh, it works really well with a double digit times a single digit number. So here we have the number 15 times 8 and if we're going to break the big number, the 15, into two smaller numbers, we would break it into the tens and ones. You could break it other ways, but I think that's the easiest way. So I'm going to break it into 10 and five ones. And then I'm going to use this box to organize my thoughts. So you know from what we did in class that we need to do 10 times 8 and 5 times 8. Well, what you're going to do so that you keep track of that is you're going to use a box like this. So the two numbers that you broke apart, one's going to go on top of each section. So I put the 10 there, I put the 5 there, and then the number that stays the same is going to go over here. So over here I have the 8. So in this first box, I'm going to multiply the 8 and the 10. So let's do 8 times 10, and we know that equals 80. And then in this box, I'm going to do the 8 times the 5. So 8 times 5, which equals 40. So now you know from uh, what we've already done in class that we need to add these numbers together. So now I'm going to take my 80 and I'm going to add 40. Works out pretty easy because they're both they both end in a zero, so that makes it easy for adding. So I look at the ones place zero plus zero equals zero, and eight plus uh, four equals twelve, and so I have my zero at the end. So I've got one hundred and twenty. Let me just move that line up so you can see the number a little bit better. So eighty plus forty equals one hundred and twenty. That means that fifteen times eight equals 120 as well. So let's try one more. I've got 18 times 4. I'm going to break it, the 18, into two smaller numbers, the tens and the ones place. So what do you think those numbers are going to be? Right, 10 here for the tens place, and 4 right there for, oh, not, excuse me, not 4, 8 for the ones place. So over here, I'm going to put my 10. I'm going to put my 8. And then over here, I'm going to multiply both by 4. So what multiplication problem is going to go on this first box? If you said 10 times 4, you are correct. And that equals 40. And then which one's going to go over here? If you said 8 times 4, you are correct. And we both know that we all know that that equals 32. So now I've got to add. I've got 40, and I'm going to add my 32, which was my answer from these two boxes. And let me draw my addition line. So now I'm going to start with the ones place. Two plus zero equals two. And then 4 plus 3 equals 7, so my answer is 72. That means that 18 times 4 equals 72. All right, so I've added this answer plus this answer, and that's how I got my 72 right there. All right, now it's your turn. I want you to use the box strategy to solve these problems. Use a piece of paper and you're going to turn it in class tomorrow and draw out the box and go ahead and solve the problem. Uh, good luck!